Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome to Bank or Bust, the finale of 500 Crystal Keys. And as you can see, some in background information of the Crystal Key themselves, with the best drops or the worst drops, the location and where you loot them, as well as the pricing of the key. So, Bank or Bust, loot from 500 Crystal Keys. So, beforehand, we have done four episodes already, that's including... Mithril Seeds, Caskets, Dragon Implings, and the Ninja Implings. But beforehand, I'm about to reveal the results of these four episodes, as this is the very finale episode of Bank or Bust. So, here we are. Bank on both the Mithril Seeds and Caskets, if you have not seen, as well as we busted on both the Dragon Imps and the Ninja Imps, as sort of expected, because they are the highest price items, which you just don't make much money from. So... I did record this back in November 2018, but the prices are relatively the same. Uh, the keys, however, have changed a little bit. So they've actually rise in price over these past times. So when I originally recorded this video, uh, they were at a price of about 22,522 GP each. Whilst now times, present time, it's at 27,500. So a big 5,000 difference. However, we're going to take it into terms that this is a result of this episode. Back then. Back then meaning as well. Back in November in 2018. But I wanted to show you this anyway. I wanted to upload this as soon as possible. But I lost interest in the loot content. Old school RuneScape videos. And then Mr. O's, uh, Mr. No Sleep released a video of basically... 25,000 of these beautiful things. So I thought, well, there's no point really uploading this, is there, when you have that sort of video just released. Um, but, uh, yeah, it did take me quite a lot while to actually loot all these. Over 2 hours and 20 minutes might be quite quick for you, but for me, with limited time, not that long. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Here we are with the review. 500 uncut dragon stones, quite a few tooth keys, not as many as I thought I would have got to be honest with you. Uh, quite a few runo bars, hopefully that will help the deficit and hopefully might give us a profit. Three rune plate skirts, so they're very, very rare items. Um, basically, you don't get rune plate legs because that's what the old school wiki is saying, but you know what, you get the uh, these ones instead. Lots of coal, a lot of iron. Quite a lot of runes. I've pretty much got every single one. I didn't drop any items whatsoever, and that should be in there. Um, got quite a few diamonds and rubies. Eight adamant square shields. A bit rare as well, but not as bad. 130 swordfish. You get five raw ones at a time. You get one individual of these every time. So these are pretty much the most common things. And 351,000 coins. Let's have a look how much this all comes to in the price check. And then we shall sell. So here we go. What is this all going to come to? Huzzah. Wow, we actually made a profit from these. Holy hell. Um, I'm quite shocked actually. I thought I was going to make a huge loss from Crystal Keys. I'm pretty surprised because that... I did like a little total on how much the keys were and it came to about 11.2 million and just on this it showed me I'm going to make over 1 million GP profit from this. Um, I'm not sure whether it was a gamble, whether I got very lucky with the amount of Bruno bars I got. That's like 1.9 million so that really ties up the gap there. I did see the iron ore is quite a lot of money actually. And you get 150 of them per, and you get 100 of these per. So you can see it's a bit big chunk across. Keeping all the runes, it looks like the runes also come to about 400,000 GP for the lot combined. Also the gems, quite valuable, as well as I've got 351,000 GP on the dots, thousand, sorry, in coins. So yeah, I'm pretty shocked, and I'm going to quickly sell us all. And hopefully we will actually make that genuine profit. Blimey, I thought I really was going to get a loss from this one. 
Let's quickly sell this to the Grand Exchange. So we're going to go Sonic Speed through the Grand Exchange by selling all our items from this project. I would like to say thank you very much for the support throughout my channel recently as well as just in general. And uh, yeah, hopefully some more big things about to come up including the Ultimate Iron Man series which will be released at the end of May slash very start of June. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks like. How much money did we make? Did we make a profit or did we lose with the final episode? So here we are. We have made a profit. We have made ourselves 12.4 million GP from Crystal Keys. However, I did use some supplies on the way here. I used about an estimated of 80 Falador Teleport tabs as well as about 10 Stamina Potions. So if I take that away, I will get myself... So this is what the supplies I use. I use about 12 Stamina Potions and 85 Falador Teleports. Uh, that comes to about, say, about 150,000 GP. So I've still, still made 1 million pure profit from just doing Crystal Keys for just over two hours. So I was technically making what, like nearly 500,000 GP per hour from Crystal Keys, which is actually a really decent money maker. Actually very nice to know that I've actually found a potentially good money making method, but I did, as I say, used, and also I think I got rather lucky with the Runite Bars. Um, other than that, all this can hide away. And uh, yeah, proper money made on this series which is truly astonishing uh, next episode will be something much less click intensive and probably quite a quick video um, but I want to try this other method to see if I can make a profit or not of course that's the aim of the series bank or bust so I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed my content so far this year and hopefully for the future. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the future. Cheers and goodbye.